So I'd now like to examine how to search for images effectively on, online using Google Advanced Image Search. Um, this is important because there can be the assumption that it's okay to use the images that appear when you search for something using, using Google Chrome or another internet browser. And this is not the case as the images that appear in your search results could be copyright protected and therefore not suitable for you to use. Um, this is especially relevant to those of you who are producing a thesis which will be published as it should uh, contain materials that includes images, diagrams, charts, illustrations, etc. that don't uh, infringe copyright. So I'd like to just go over uh, a process of how to use the search engine effectively when searching for images. So for step one, when I used to search for images online using Google, I would simply open up the browser, type in what I was looking for, and then press enter on my keyboard. Then I would click on images to show me the results of my search. Then I would click on my chosen image. And it's at this problem I would encounter an issue as the image search that I had um, conducted had returned unfiltered results, meaning some of the images could be subject to copyright protection. And it's at this point I could, could examine the possibility of using one of the UK copyright exceptions for, for private study to use this. And we'll examine the copyright exceptions later on. But the point of this demonstration is to encourage good practice when searching for images online, which will ultimately save you time so instead of employing the search method we've used so, um, used so far, I would encourage you to do the following in order to return image results that you know can be used in your academic practice. So a quick and easy way of filtering your image searches is to click on the tools button that's highlighted on the screen and do this whenever you've conducted an image search. When you've clicked on the tools button, a drop down menu will appear and from there you click on uh, the, the text that says usage rights. And then you can select how the um, images are filtered. And you can see on here I've um, highlighted Creative Commons licenses because I know Creative Commons is a suite of license that usually allows the reuse of materials that's, that they're associated with. So I know I, may, I would be able to use the images possibly non-commercially or even commercially. So that's a really good way of, or effective way of filtering your um, image results. And as I say, we'll, we'll cover uh, Creative Commons in more depth uh, later on. And once you've chosen how to filter your um, image results, and in this example, we've used Creative Commons. If you notice on screen, Underneath each of the images, the source has changed. You see how we've got highlighted a uh, commons.wikimedia.org. That lets me know that the filter has been applied and that the images that I have chosen, I should be able to use. And this is just an effective way of um, to filter your image search results. And I said it will save you having to do a prolonged search online. And one final thing I'd like to make you aware of is you can filter your image results to a more granular level, a more defined level. And to do that, you can do that by clicking on the settings button. And from the drop down menu, you would then click on the advanced um, search. And if you look at what we have on the screen here, You'll notice I can filter my search via words, exact phrases, or I can include or exclude words. I can also via, um, filter search via the image size, the ratio of the colors used as well. And along with the um, usage rights that we applied in our search that we just conducted a few moments ago, so the advanced image search is a really good way of really ref help, um, helping to refine your image search to a real kind of granular level. So that's just something to bear in mind when looking for images to use in your academic practice, within your assignments, within your thesis, or any coursework you're doing as well.